Well, once again, we've accomplished another book in our Daily in the Word series. And here in the fifth chapter of 1 Peter, Peter begins to kind of close out his exhortations with encouraging the relationship between one generation to the next. In my Bible, it says, advice for elders and young men. And listen to the advice that he gives, starting in verse five of chapter five. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you, dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. And I love the reason he gives, the why. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So, humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. You know, I once had a youth pastor that said, if you want God to oppose you, be an arrogant person. Now listen, I got enough problems in my life, I don't need God to oppose me. Like, I want God to, as it says here in, in 1 Peter chapter 5, I want his grace. What I would like to encourage you today is to dress yourself, clothe yourself in humility. And you say, well, what does that mean, humility? Here's the best description of humility I've ever come across. It's not to think more highly or more lowly than yourself. That's pride, that's false pride. But to think accurately about yourself. Listen, God loves you. You're, you're not worthless. God sent his son to die for you. But also, you're not God. See, you're right there in the middle. You're the one that's loved by God, but you see yourself accurately. You know that in and of yourself dwells no good thing, and that anything that God brings is evidence that God exists in your life. So be humble, see things accurately. Listen, God loves you, but also he's the one who's God. So in your relationships with one another, be humble, see things accurately. Don't put others down, don't lift yourself up, don't beat yourself up but trust that God is doing the work in you and through you. And as Peter writes, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. He will lift your, you up and give your worries and cares to him. The best way to live life as a Christian is to simply trust and obey. For as the old song goes, trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. So today, that's my encouragement to you. As we close out this chapter, clothe yourself in humility today. Be gracious with one another and just trust the Lord. Walk in humility, cast your cares upon him. He loves you, he cares for you, and he will do a great work in his time through you.